Welcome back to our special Trump in Asia edition of Tucker Carlson tonight. We're standing right now on the North Korean border. Our interview with the president didn't simply focus on foreign policy or the decay of American cities, though you could fill hours of programming on those topics. The federal government is being increasingly open about its decades-long investigation of UFOs. They have spent millions of dollars, and officials admit now they've seen many things they don't understand. We decided to ask the president about it. It was his semi-cryptic answer. Watch. You gave an interview the other day in which you said you've been briefed on unidentified flying objects. Are they, are they real? Uh, well, I don't want to really get into it too much, but personally, I tend to doubt it. Uh, I mean, you have people that swear by it, right? And pilots have come in and they said, and these are pilots that are not pilots that are into that particular world. But we have had people saying that they've seen things. Uh, I'm not a believer, but, you know, I guess anything's possible. We spoke to a government official recently who said the U.S. government had wreckage from a UFO in a, in a facility on an Air Force base. Are you familiar with I that? I haven't heard that, no. I haven't heard that. Uh, it has not been within government, has not been a big thing, but I've seen it. I've seen it on your show, but I've seen it. Uh, I don't assume it's correct, but, you know, I have an open mind, Tucker. <laughs> no, you do, Mr. President. Thank you for that. Nowadays, you can believe anything, right? <laughs> Nick Pope is a journalist. He wants to investigate UFO sightings for the British Ministry of Defense, and he joins us tonight. So, Nick, I thought that was a, a, an interesting answer. The president said he had been briefed, quote, I don't want to get into it, but he's skeptical the UFOs are real. What does that add up to, would you say? Well, first of all, I think it's absolutely refreshing to get a straight answer from a president, a, a sitting president on this, without dodging the question, without making some humorous reference to a science fiction movie. So that was good to hear. I understand the skepticism. I think everyone that started off looking at this within government yes. starts skeptical. But as you say, um, th this reference to the briefing that he has is very interesting. And when he says he doesn't want to get into this, does that reflect uh, just that he's personally not that interested or maybe that he received some classified information that he's not able to share about all this? We spoke to a U.S., a credible, non-crazy U.S. government official who said categorically, flat out, the U.S. government has wreckage from a UFO. It didn't say it was extraterrestrial. But it was an unidentified flying object and the U.S. government has material from that aircraft, whatever it is. That's an amazing claim. How would the president not have heard that, assuming it's true? Well, I, I think, yeah, I, I think that's the big thing, assuming it's true. I mean, I would think that the president has probably asked the chairman of the Joint Chiefs, firstly, is there a threat here to the United States? And secondly, right. setting that question aside, what are we dealing with? I mean, is this our own tech? Is it Russia? Is it China? Uh, or is it from somewhere further afield? I, I mean, uh, he will have asked for all information held on this and, and uh, will we'll be trying to figure out what to do. I mean, he has said himself, something feels a little bit different about all this, with the U.S. Navy pilots and the radar operators now coming forward. So there is something different and important and big happening. So what would you say, since you speak to a lot of people who are involved in this, not just in the professional UFO questioning world, which I think most of us have a right to be a little skeptical of, but of just you know, ordinary pilots and people going about their business in government who have intersected with these stories or seen these objects themselves. What is the majority view about what these are? Russian, Chinese, American, or something else? Well, I'm not sure there is a majority view. And, and even within government, and I've been here myself with the British Ministry of Defense, there were conflicting opinions. I mean, look, if, if the president would like more research and more briefing, I'm certainly happy to 
help with that. And I could probably round up a couple of other former intelligence officials from within the U.S. administration who've looked at this. And, and we could certainly, I'm sure, um, you know, get some people who aren't afraid to think the unthinkable and ask those big what-if questions. But look, whatever happens with yeah. UFOs, this may happen on President Trump's watch. I mean, we may get, with the current uh, radio telescopes, certainly with the next generation telescopes, we might get absolute confirmation uh, that there's other civilizations out there. And, and therefore, this might happen on President Trump's watch. He'll be the one who has to make the announcement. And what a historic announcement that would be. My fellow Americans, people of the world, we are not alone. So I'm glad to hear he's open-minded and thinking about this, because there has been an upsurge in these sightings. And who knows what the future will bring? There's something terrifying about all that. But we're not in control, as you often point out. Nick Pope, great to see you tonight. Thank you. Thanks, Tucker.